welcome back to a new video today wrapping into the 16th episode of the eighth season a smallville turbulence uh last time we got lois back and we got to see what would happen if clark revealed who he truly is to the world and it all turned very uh it was good at first but then turned on a dime very quickly and of course he had to go back and reverse time so unfortunately he told lois about a secret but now she doesn't remember and um he doesn't know that davis is doomsday so that was the big consequence of reversing time so uh, i'm excited to see uh where this season goes from here clark definitely learned a big lesson on who we can and cannot trust and how he basically does need the double identity and the world basically cannot know that clark kent is superman so important lesson for him to learn that's for sure um but yeah, let's just uh, continue on. I'm excited to continue on with this uh, with this season. So if you want to see my full reaction super early, you can head on over to my Patreon page. I'll have the link in the description below. Or you can hang out right here on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So here we go. This is the 16th episode of the 8th season of Smallville Turbulence. Let's go. I have hurt many people. Something takes over. It's a beast inside of me. We all have a inner demons. It's much more than an inner demon. I drive through metropolis at night searching for a way to save myself. But when I find someone who's lost their way, I reach out. Well, I guess that's one way to reach out. I do everything in my power to put it to an end. Ooh. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Okay, so killing kind of keeps it at bay, but uh, you can't keep that up forever. Stay on your righteous path, my son. Be not overcome of evil. That's not really a righteous path. But overcome evil with good. You ain't getting more. Sorry. Yo, dude, you need to, like, not... Stay seated, what are we doing? You're still recovering. Oh. This has got to... Like, there's, like, no one around. This has got to be, like, still a dream or something? There's no one around, and it's dark. Oh! Oh, God! Dude, don't just stand there. Do some... Oh, my God. Ugh. Yeah, you need like a briefcase or something. Let's get rid of the back backpack. Where are we going? LA. Wait, what? I'm announcing the new Marshall Media Group press conference. And you want me to go with you? Every cup reporter gets this big break. This just happens to be yours. Do you have more important things to do? No. No. No, we're uh we're good, no. What happened to Davis? Was he hurt? No, Chloe, he was the killer. I saw him murder someone right in front of me. Mm-hmm. What are you doing here? Jimmy, they let me go. Since when does Metropolis PD let people get away with murder? Look, I saw Jimmy. Calm down. Did he actually Jimmy. see? I'm yeah. confused. I'm so I confused. Your PCA pump, it was faulty. Gave you a double dose every time you hit the trigger. Now, if I had that much morphine in my system, I'd see some things still. Davis, I was with Jimmy yesterday when he tried to give himself an extra dose, and the machine wouldn't allow it. Well, somehow it malfunctioned. Really, Davis? I dropped out, but there's nothing wrong with that pump. <laughs> okay, ask the doctors. Or ask one of the nurses. They'll say the same thing. I am so confused. What is seeing? real? Did he see or did he not see? The, uh, I don't fucking know. Still, you don't deserve to be cast as the madman in Jimmy's psycho thriller. Truth is, I'm not surprised he thinks of me that way. I, I did kiss his bride. Yeah, but he doesn't know that. I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. Oh, Chloe. I just can't help but wonder that if... If he had never met me, maybe this wouldn't have happened to me. Aww. You can't think that way. You don't know what's going to happen in life. Yeah. Oh no, Jimmy's going to see this, isn't he? They're lingering on this way too long. <sighs> Fuck. What about what Lux put you through? He pretended to be your friend for how many years? 
I'd like to think that there was a time when Lex and I had a real friendship. You did! You were! Ugh. He's so cool. Yeah, about season five. He likes to talk to you about me. And what was in this journal, right? Are you thirsty? I'm sure that Albert keeps a bottle of the good stuff around here somewhere. <laughs> Can I get it out of her through getting her drunk? That's one way. No. Davis? What the fuck, man? You keep it in the ambulance? Oh, God. Oh. Okay, he did it. He did it. The truck driver's dead. He found it. And maybe that isn't such a bad thing. Fuck. He ran a red light last night. He killed a young mother. That doesn't mean he deserves to die. So? Jimmy was correct. You don't know what you're seeing anymore. It's the same for us. Oh! Oh, this is gaslighting by like a thousand. And then he's going to be able to get rid of the body before he wakes up. It's all going to be on the drugs. Oh, God. Oh, now this is a treat. Wait, what? Whoa. This, oh my God, this looks so bad. Jimmy, my heart, oh my God. I feel so bad for him. Daddy Dearest used to be able to finish off a fifth before the lunch whistle blew at the mill. That sounds tough. Let's just say it wasn't the Norman Rockwell childhood that you had at the Kent farm. Hey, he has some troubles. I had these blue sheets that I used to pull up over my head. And it made me feel like I was underneath the ocean. And I'd hide in there. And uh, pretend to be a little mermaid. <laughs> waiting, dreaming of my prince to come rescue me. Aww. And my dad would come in. That's what shattered my eardrum. Fuck. And he broke my arm. I bet you didn't expect the A-flight entertainment to include my true Hollywood story. <laughs> I'm just glad I had a happy ending. You're just gonna cover my tracks. I don't know you, Clark. Lord Lux had an entire room devoted to you. I don't know. He, like you said, is obsessed. Lex was a lot of things, but he was not delusional. We all have our deepest darkest. She just wants you to confess. I just want you to mind. Tell me yours. Okay, you can't coerce this out of him. I get what she's trying to do, but he's not going to. You don't have the right to do this. There's nothing to tell. With me, it's what you see is what you get. How's the weather looking out? That's all. Wait, what? The skies are clear. Like, you just said it's... What the... What the fuck happened? What the fuck just happened? Okay, grab it. Motherfucker, she planned this whole shit. Oh my god. What do you want him to do? Uh, she just wants to see his powers. Fuck. All right, she'll pass out and then, all right. I guess he's just gonna jump instead of fly. Now would be a perfect time to learn how to fly though. Oh, there would be like, test. what did you do to my plane? Oh, she blew that motherfucker up. Oh. They didn't catch him actually doing anything, though. I was hallucinating. I got this cut, and your anger was going to the dead body. You murdered that man. You know what you're doing. You're not yourself. That's what you want everyone to believe, isn't it? See, I thought it was just a cover of the murder. Then I was so you hold the glory of summer. Yeah, that looks really bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Jimmy, run. Run, run. Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, my God. I'm so scared for him right now. No, dude, this is not as important. Yeah, run. No, that's not me. That ain't gonna do shit. Oh my god. 
Chloe. Get out of here. Yeah, oh god, oh god, but he's gonna hurt you. That's your excuse. Yeah, Have they found a pilot's body? No. I feel terrible. <laughs> you set this what whole thing it? up. It was terrible as it always. I hope that this experience has brought us closer. I don't usually open up about myself to well to anyone, really. If you were that I would tell someone you seek it, I promise you won't. Max was right about you, Clark. There's not a bad bone in your body. That's true. Not Very lie, true. I had to deal with the use of people. But when I'm around you, somehow I feel safe. Oh, you get a little crushy crush there, Tess. I'm just glad you're okay. I don't blame her though. I'm ready to get back to the planet. I wouldn't want you to think I'm not taking my job seriously. Yeah, this would probably be the last thing she thinks. I'm your own company, but I'm not Lex. You can trust me. Yeah, I don't know about that. I like you, but I, mm, I don't think he's gonna trust you anytime soon. You need to quit the daily planet and put the red blue blur back into the box. No, it's already out. You can't. No. I'm not sure she's like Rex. Your ability to trust others and always see the good in people is what makes you so special, but it's also what keeps getting you into trouble. You need to be careful. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you quit your job and stop being the blur. Jimmy and I made it out of the dark forest, and from now on, it's going to be one long, happily ever after. Ugh, why do I feel like this is a kiss of death? Ugh, she said that at the beginning too. God, they did it twice. Oh, Jimmy. No, this. I get why it appears that way, but. Oh, what? Oh, damn! That I felt that one. I felt that one deep in my soul. Oh. oh fuck. Yo, he is flipping out. <gasps> oh. -ho -ho. He's like, I don't give two shits anymore. This is the truth. I'm out. <laughs> and there's no one there to see him. You think he would just speed out, but. Yep, that was obvious. Oh, is this what we're doing as character? Oh, I don't like this. Yeah, sorry, girl. Yeah, screw you, Davis. Screw you. You just ruined their marriage. Fuck you. All right, let's go ahead and talk about it. Well, that was the 16th episode of the 8th season of Smallville Turbulence. Um, this was another solid episode. This did a lot for moving the plot forward um, in terms of Davis and what Davis is doing with, with Doomsday and trying to control uh, Doomsday that's inside him. So um, there are two basically main stories. We had, unfortunately, no Lois, uh, but I understood why they didn't because there was no place to put her in this in this episode and I get it because there were two very strong storylines that we are following so we're gonna start with the uh, Davis and Jimmy one because that one that had me all confused because I was like wait is he in a dream is he imagining what's going on no in reality Jimmy was seeing everything that Davis was doing but Davis was essentially gaslighting him by like a thousand and making everybody think he was going crazy and Jimmy was the one that kept saying no 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 he's dangerous I saw him murder people he's a dangerous guy all these things and no one believed him and of course at the end we you know we do realize that you know Davis did actually kill the guy and he is so basically Davis is whenever he kills and is violent it helps 
subdue the monster basically and it and it calms him down so he goes after what he perceives as bad guys which you know makes sense he's trying to at least make the best of a horrible situation so there's that I like this isn't condoning him this isn't like saying that it's okay at all um but i'm just saying i get his idea of what he's trying to do um but unfortunately these string of murders are him still and jimmy kept finding out the truth and no one believed him and in the end i actually can understand what he's saying like i feel for chloe at the end of this because i wanted to give her a big hug because she is trying to keep so much from jimmy and protect him because it's not her secret to tell him like I think it was in, um, I think it was Identity, I believe that there was Identity, that Clark was like, this isn't about Jimmy not knowing, my, about Jimmy knowing my series, it's protecting him because everybody that knows his secret, their world turns upside down. So I understand why Clark does not want Jimmy to know, but at this point he's been in the series for so long that he might as well know. But I get it because all of this is connected to, you know, Krypton and Kryptonian and all the alien things about Clark. So you can't let them know, but it looks really bad on the outside. So I get it. I understand um, Jimmy being upset and Jimmy being like, you don't trust me. Like, you won't tell me the truth. You won't believe me. You side with everybody else all the time, always siding with Clark. Now it's Davis. When I told you he was a murderer, which is very true, and you're not believing me, like, I'd be done too. I would be, I'd be done. And so I get it. It's just, it really sucks. So this path that they're taking Jimmy down, I get it. But it's just, I don't like it. Like, ugh, they're making him like addicted to drugs now, which I get like throughout this episode, we saw it coming. You saw him, they made a point uh, multiple times of always him trying to give himself more drugs. And then the nurse, when they gave him pills was like, hey, you know, um, these are highly addictive. So only like three, I'm like, I've watched enough television, you know, to realize like, hey, he's going to start getting like little things like that. When you watch enough television, it's, you know, it's pretty easy to spot. Even if you don't watch a lot of television, you can kind of see that happening. Uh, same thing with Chloe twice in this episode being, uh, oh, Jimmy's going to get better and we're all going to live happily ever after. And I'm like, oh. That's the kiss of death. That means you're not going to. Like, again, another TV trope where you say that and then the worst happens. So um, we'll see what happens there. Um, I just wish Chloe would have been a little bit more open to Jimmy. Just be Jimmy, what Jimmy was saying. Just, she's seen a lot of weird shit. So I would just, I would hope that she would have been a little more open to what she was saying instead of like completely dismissing it um, to the drugs. But I mean, that was the whole point of what Davis was doing. He wanted Dave, or he wanted Jimmy to look crazy. So mission accomplished. So I'm really hating Davis now. Um, I liked him at the beginning. I thought he was a good guy. He just was in a bad situation. And I'm like, dude, like this was this was beyond. This was you crossed a line when you were drugging someone to make them seem crazy to forget that you're a murderer. Like, I understand it's not you, it's the beast, but it's in you. Like, And then we have the other storyline of basically Tess. Again, this is about the two main protagonists are now, both of them went way over the line. She, want, yes, she wanted to know Clark's secret. And so her way of figuring it out was basically, one, she wanted to get him drunk and hopefully he would confess but of course he's immune to alcohol so she resorted to paying the pilot to jump out of the plane and crash the plane so that Clark would use his powers to save them and she would know the truth are you serious like I know Lana was I was manipulative and trying to find out the secret but this is beyond that because you're putting your life at stake here like that is nuts that is absolutely crazy girl you you're just batshit crazy. What the hell were you thinking? Like, I understand you want to know the secret, but like, we really doing it like this? This is how we plan to do it? Like, damn. So now I'm wondering, like, if, was that backstory even true about her past? Was she just trying to gain sympathy? Was it like, I don't even know what to believe. Cause I mean, I think she was just trying to like soften him up and win him over. And then hopefully 
get his trust and I think she was trying to gain his trust to open up to her, which he's never going to do. So there's that. But I think she's just trying to figure out why Lex was so obsessed with him and what sort of powers he might have. Um, so I think she's, I think she knows more than Clark knows and that she's letting on. So we're going to see what happens there. But that was way over the line. That was over the top, like, Go you crazy. But at least Clark was smart enough to get her to pass out before jumping on the plane. So there's that. But I also don't agree with Chloe that just because Tess might know his secret that he just like go into hiding. It's like, no, well, that's not how you do it either. Like if she knows, then running away is probably going to confirm all of her suspicions. So go along with life as usual and try your best to avoid using your powers in front of her. That's it. Um, yeah, so all in all, I thought it was a great episode. I thought the way they handled the Jimmy, um, going crazy and not knowing if Jimmy, if what Jimmy was seeing was real, I thought that was done really, really well and everything. Uh, I'm going to give us an 8.5 to be honest. I thought it was a good episode. It moved all the plots forward and I actually really, really liked this episode. So, uh, in terms of the tally board, we didn't have many. We only had A plus one for hospital visits because Jimmy was in the hospital. So we're at 120 and then plus one for a pseudo suit with the red jacket and a blue shirt. So we are at 80 for that one. So if you want to see my full reaction and head on over to my Patreon page, I'll have the link in the description below or hang out right here on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next episode.